Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to build a diabetic prediction uh, web app with Streamlit for females with this data set that was formerly on um, Kaggle. I had it a while back. In fact, I'll leave a link to it um, on the video. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So... Import the data set, read it with pandas, label encoder. There's the data frame. Obviously, uh, the target is outcome. We're making a classifier. Drop everything but outcome because all these are relevant and necessary. Test train split, standard scaler. We're going to use the Adaboost because I had the best uh, luck out of all the classifiers with that. Okay, predict with X test. And there's 25 predictions. Then there's our accuracy score, 76%. But the most important is the F1 score is the 65%. Because if you have a model that's 92% accurate, but it's got an F1 score of 5%, it's no good. There's the confusion matrix. You know, true positives, true negatives, false positives, false negatives. Okay. Anyways, guys, and then we're going to make the pickle file. And then we're going to go right over here. Okay. Commit the pickle file. The requirements text. These. These are the requirements text. Okay. There's the diabetes data set because I'm going to make this thing public, so... Okay, there's your app.py. Okay, import these libraries. Model, load the, with the pickle function, load the model. And then diabetes rest for females. And then there's your text and your text and headers. Okay, so these are the columns. Remember from the data frame? Okay, 0 to 16, because there have been women that have been pregnant 16 times. Okay, and then there's glucose, okay, 74 to 200, blood pressure. Uh, this data set was a little different, I don't know whether it meant systolic or diastolic, so I just put in 30 to 130. Okay. Skin thickness, 0 to 100. Insulin, 0 to 200. They weren't really descriptive in the data set back when it was on Kegel for insulin exactly, whether it was insulin resistance or whatever. And then there's BMI, 14 to 60. Okay. Pedigree function, 0, 0.0 to 60. Age, 0 to 100. Then there's your inputs. The model's going to predict the inputs. It's gotten flattened as type integer. If it equals zero, then it's going to write this. Or it's going to write one, the positive label, just like that. That easy, guys. Okay, now we're going to make an obvious prediction. Okay, let's pretend I'm a very unhealthy woman. Okay. Er, very unhealthy. Whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Your pregnancies really don't matter. Let's just put most likely to predict. Probable you will get diabetes in. Okay. Anyways, guys. That is all. Um... Stay tuned for my next video. I have decided we will do SageMaker next time. Okay. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you.